All right, what's up, everybody? This is gonna be a uh, shitty Star Wars movie trailer analysis. Right, so this part, she's like digging through a uh, an old Walmart or something like that. That's what it kind of looks like. Yeah, she's like looking at some refrigerators or some shit. Probably hard to come across on her planet. I'm no one. All right, so of course she's gonna say that she's no one, but we all know that she's fucking important. She's gonna like take down the Galactic Empire, whatever the new Empire thing is. She's gonna be like Luke's daughter, or, like Han Solo and Carrie Fisher's daughter, something like that, you know. But of course, like right now she's working at a Midas or something like that, you know. She's like craving some adventure, but she's stuck there. Alright, so this here is the reason why a bunch of people are all fucking pissed off. Yeah, so his name's Finn the Black Guy. And, uh, well not really, his name's just Finn, but, like, he's the only black guy in Star Wars. Pretty much. And people are pissed that one of the main characters is gonna be a black guy. Seriously, though, in six Star Wars movies, there's, like, five black people. And only two of them have somewhat of a relevant role. Like, and yet people are pissed about this. I'm not even exaggerating, like, I'll count them off here, I'm probably missing some, but like, it's fucking close enough. So you got, uh, this guy, Captain Panaka or something like that, Senator Don Yu, uh, fucking, what's his name, Billy D. Lewis playing Lando Calrissian, and Will Smith playing Samuel L. Jackson. So yeah, lo and behold, there's a sixth fucking dark-skinned person in the entire galaxy. <laughs> Movie must be ruined, huh? Jesus Christ. Nothing to fight for. Nothing will stand in our way. Next, that leads me to this salty motherfucker. So, of course, just like Darth Vader, he wears a mask. This guy's got some kind of identity issue, though. <laughs> you know, like getting the original fucking idea. Anyway, though, Luke probably trained him, and this dude probably started as a Jedi, and then Luke found out he fucking sucks at teaching, and this dude turns to the dark side and brings some motherfuckers with him. Then, before Luke knows it, he has a bunch of half-Jedi, half-Siths walking around wearing black and listening to Creed, so he just rolls out. That's why you don't see Luke at all. He, like, took up a job at GameStop or something and realized he wasn't a good teacher. Problem is, none of these guys know that Darth Vader turned into a pussy right before he died. <laughs> Luke took his helmet off and turned out it was just a bald, fat guy under there. And that and the Emperor shit the bed and got thrown down an elevator shaft. So this guy's all confused. I will finish what you started. Yeah, he's gonna fucking die. stories about what happened. It's true. So this is what's gonna happen. The uh, Finn, he was a Jedi. He was raped by Luke, or he was taught by Luke or whatever, and alongside that fucking Creed listening to dude, then that dude turned to the dark side and they used to be friends. But anyway, he's gonna escape that Star Destroyer on that TIE Fighter crash. He's gonna meet Rey. And then uh, they're going to kind of bond a little bit, but then he's going to roll out. Then Han Solo is going to show up. Rey's somehow going to save him. He's going to realize that he knows her somehow. And then uh, he's going to take her with him. And then Rey and Finn are going to meet back up. This base here is going to get attacked. There's going to be a big battle. Then at some point, there's going to be some lightsaber duels. Luke's going to show up at some point. And he's going to flex some nuts and be like, yeah, sorry for d and out, guys. I fucked up. It's gonna turn out that Rey has some kind of Jedi powers based on the conversation at the beginning asking who are you and then that same voice at the end of the trailer says like let it in so apparently she's got some kind of force power. It's the only thing I'm kind of mad about. If you look in the top right there's another Death Star. So these assholes are gonna make a third one and think that the outcome's gonna be any different. The difference between this one is it's gonna light planets on fire instead of uh, blowing them up. And what's gonna end up happening is by the second or third one of these, they're gonna blow this fucking thing up and they're gonna realize they were a bunch of assholes for building this thing. Thing is, I bet it's even got a Starbucks in it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Right, 
So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed my shitty movie trailer analysis, but that's what's gonna happen in this Star Wars movie. Needless to say, I'm pretty fucking excited. People can say whatever the hell they want, but honestly, a shitty Star Wars movie is better than no Star Wars movie. Really, I mean, the only thing that would ruin this movie for me is if, I don't know, something like Barbara Streisand making a cameo appearance or something happened. I'd be pretty fucking pissed if that happened, but otherwise I'd, I'll be happy with this movie. Now I'm gonna smoke a pack of Reds and take a nap till this movie comes out.